Hello everybody. Today I want to talk to you about Google Drive File Stream. Google Drive File Stream is a desktop application that allows you to quickly access all of your Google Drive files on demand directly from your computer without taking up a bunch of space on your actual machine. With Google Drive File Stream, your files are stored on the cloud instead of on your computer and any changes you make are automatically synced with the cloud for quick and easy access anywhere you have an internet connection. So what does that actually mean? It basically means you have a program on your desktop computer that allows a virtual look into your Google Drive and also access to those files. So let me show you here. I'm gonna to go to my start menu and go to File Explorer. So here I am, File Explorer. And up pops my Windows File Explorer options. And now, because I've added the Google Drive file stream, I have that as one of my options. And so you can see I'm on there now. I'm going to click that. And essentially, it's my Google Drive um, housed in Windows. These are all the folders that I would have on my Google Drive. And um, the benefit to this, though, again, is that you can use files stored in your drive that are not Google apps. For example, these Microsoft products like PowerPoint, Excel, and Word. And if I click on this Word doc that's in my Google Drive, it instantly downloads and is ready for me to, to work on it here in the native application. And so I'm in Microsoft Word, whatever I need to do to this document I can, I click save and it's automatically in my drive up to date. So this application also helps when you're creating documents outside of the Google Apps realm. So if I go to start, and PowerPoint. I'm going to start a new PowerPoint file. I'm just going to paste in some content and now I'm going to save this. So here's the cool thing. When you go to save, you now have some options. I'm going to choose browse and I'm in my file explorer and now I have Google Drive right here. I can um, save this right in my drive. So if I open my drive, click save. It's now got this uh, file in my drive. So when I open up my Google Drive online, here it is. Here's my drive. Here is the PowerPoint presentation one that I just created, uh, located and ready to go. And I can share this with others or um, whatever I need to do with it. But wait, there's more. Google Drive File Stream allows you to uh, browse from the print shop straight into your Google Drive. So here I am on the district print shop page. I want to upload a file. It takes me to the Windows File Explorer. I'm on my Google Drive here. I can select whatever I want, but Google Drive is what I'm after. Here's my drive. And then we have all of my Google Drive folders and I can navigate to what I'm looking for. Now the print shop still uh, pretty much requires from the drive a PDF version. And so I have one here, I double click on it and it is uploading and there it is ready to be printed. All right, now it's decision time. Do you wanna install this on your machine? If you decide that this would be beneficial to you, you can do it yourself. So you're gonna go down to, I'm gonna to go to the search bar down here and type in software center. And you can see it, it automatically kind of populates there. The Software Center is a place where you have access to download different apps that um, are uh, have been delivered to you. So I'm going to click on this and up comes the Software Center. Now I have Google Drive file stream already on my machine and you can see its symbol down in the status bar right here. But this is the application and if you click on it, you get that option to install and then it'll talk you through the process. If you have any issues installing the Google file stream from this location, or maybe if it's not even in your software center, uh, please let your building tech know. Once you've successfully installed the Google Drive file stream app, you'll have an icon down in the status bar. And if you click on it, it just shows you the things that have synced successfully. There's nothing that you need to do here. This is just giving you the status of um, those documents. Uh, it does allow you to click on the Google Drive folder in the Windows File Explorer version. So we've been here before, but that's another way that you could get to it. Um, I want to show you also just 
just to be aware that this will kind of flash uh, when it's syncing. And so I have this document up. I'm going to click Save. And you'll see down here there's some activity. It's just kind of cycling through the sync. And it takes maybe five seconds, something like that. Once it stops its movement, um, then the file should be available uh, on the web-based version of my Google Drive. So thank you for watching. I plan to add some linked resources in the video description below. Um, until next time.